Hello everyone. For this review, we're going to go over the Hasbro Retro Phantom Menace box set. This comes with six figures meant to look like original Kenner figures. These are just now uh, being uh, made available for sale and they're shipping pretty quick. So if you're interested in the retro stuff, now's the time to get it. As you can see, starting off, we got the front of the box. We've got that big retro sticker. I feel a little conflicted about some of these releases and that when they were releasing figures to homage the originals, I can understand why they would put the retro sticker on there to just make them visually different. Um, just like they have kind of the simulated card damage. With the brand new figures that they're coming out with, like for Mandalorian, for Ahsoka, uh, now for the Phantom Menace, you know they're going to be doing Revenge of the Sith and Clone Wars. I kind of wish they would treat them more like true vintage figures instead of like fake vintage figures because how how do you reconcile if you have the original figures and then you're buying these modern figures these these modern figures never had you know quote unquote vintage figures so this is an opportunity to have like some true vintage figures and i don't know it's it's kind of a weird thing that they're doing with these but there's no going back at this point this is the product that they're giving us so on the top, we have photography and the Phantom Mentis logo. And this photography, this, this style and layout, often you would see store displays back in the late 70s and 80s that look like this. So this would be kind of the topper to so an end cap and then Below it would be the figures, or the figures would be in a tray. So that's cool. That, that's, that's really nostalgic. And whoever originally came up with this idea, you know, back in the 70s, it's, it's brilliant because, you know, you see the characters as they look in the movie, and it's like, oh, yeah, I want these figures. Um, on the other side, same as the front. Uh, matter of fact, I don't I don't know which one is the front. Um, I guess, well, the back has some legal. And the sides, you just have the logo. And on the bottom, just I have all the manufacturing legal stuff. So uh, let's get this out of the package and let's review the figures. Okay, so this is a lot to show at one time, so I'm going to do three at a time here. The card backs, definitely very vintage styled. Um, the quality of the cardboard has not changed. Uh, that's one thing that some people have complained about. Um, let me take that back. It's it's better than the initial release of the New Hope stuff years ago. Um, it's still a little flimsy, but um, honestly, I I don't know how close that is to the original packaging back in the day or not. Hasbro did go through some changes for the G.I. Joe retro carded stuff. Um, I still feel like this card back could be a little bit sturdier, but these are meant for the retro collection. And, you know, there's this whole thing about how these will fit in your vintage collection or are they meant to fit into your original vintage collection or not. So moving on, um, look at Qui-Gon. Um, I really like the packaging. The backs of these are all the same. So I'm not going to go over the backs for each one, but you'll see the names there in the middle. That's all the names for this wave. 
and just a bunch of legal stuff. So nothing, nothing really great here. That's fine though. But yeah, it would be cool if at least on the back it had maybe the figures from the wave. I think that'd be cool. Um, well, I'll go in a little bit more about the figures once I get them out, but uh, I'm I'm liking the way this Qui-Gon looks. And he's got that, you know, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi style Luke lightsaber. So that's cool. So then we got Amidala. Her card back looks great. Um, figure is looking pretty good. So really liking that. And we've got Obi-Wan. Um, I like the background. The figure's face. Eh. I don't know. I guess it's okay. I was going to say it doesn't look very uh, Kenner-ish, but it's, it's close. It's, it's almost there. So those are pretty cool. So let's review the next three. So we've got Darth Maul. Looking really good. Figures looking pretty good. Um, I like how his lightsaber is. <laughs> it's, it's that Luke lightsaber, but two of them stuck together with an extra long hilt in the middle. That's cool. Um, we got Jar Jar. Um, I think this looks pretty good. And we've got the droid. Battle droid. And I'm noticing that his legs look a little bent inside the package. We'll see how this uh how well he stands here when we get him out. Alright, so those are the figures and their card backs. And now let's get the figures open and take a look at them. So here we have the figures out of the package, and you can see the figures do a good job standing on their own with no figure stands. A couple things I've noticed so far. So we've got some uh, kind of bendy legs on the battle droid, but he stands. He's he's doing fine. So that's a plus. They they designed him well. For Jar Jar, I'm going to say they broke the rule with the hand. I'm going to show you here. He has a very uniquely well sculpted hand. Like you can put a gun in this hand and it is not going to come off. And a lot of those vintage figures had just kind of weird, you know, barely can hold the gun type hands. And they've made some really good hands to hold that blaster. So plus for Hasbro there. Um, I really like Qui-Gon. Think the sculpt is very Kenner like. He's got that Luke Skywalker style sword. Um, this cloth cape is very much like the Luke Jedi cape. Um, the inside is very well sculpted. Um, this is a nice figure. It's it's a shame Obi Wan doesn't come with a cloak. I don't don't know why they did that. Uh, so Amidala has a full articulation. Um, that, that Kenner style split leg with even some detail on the inside. So that's kind of cool. Her this this piece on top is kind of a rubber material and separate. You're not going to get that off because you'd have to pop the head off. And um, if you've ever looked at how these figures were created, you know, that, that head just isn't designed to come off. But um, good paint apps, good sculpt, like an Amidala. Oops. Obi-Wan. I don't know. The sculpt 
is I guess it's okay. Um, it kind of looks a little bit like those reaction figures. Uh, not even those, but the uh, the Funko ones. Can't remember what that line was, but um, not not quite Kennerish. I don't know. Maybe I maybe I'm tripping here. Um, but he's got the right lightsaber. Um, the detailing's pretty good. Matter of fact, um, I've got a Obi Wan. Uh, I'm sorry, a uh, New Hope Obi Wan. This is one of the retro collection ones. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I feel like the head is too big or there's something weird about the eyes. I don't know. There's something about the face that seems a little little off. Otherwise, it's it's pretty good. I mean, I know these aren't supposed to look realistic, but I think probably uh, Obi-Wan's the weakest of the wave. Um then we got Darth Maul holds his lightsaber very well. Um some good detailing on the head. I think this is kind of a borderline like how how vintage is this? This might be a little bit this may not be simplified enough, you know? But the the sculpting is really good and I really love how they've replicated that simple style <laughs> lightsaber. Dual 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 simplified lightsaber. And then we've got the battle droid. He's got these pre-posed um, arms, which are okay. Um, as you see, the feet are a little warped, but they, they're they wide enough that he can still stand. He also has a good grip on his blaster, too. So this is another one they've kind of um, gone outside the, the Kenner design philosophy of figures that shouldn't be able to hold their weapons. Um, I know with the Mandel wave, there were some figures that had um, really awful grips on their weapons. So I don't know. I, I'd rather have them improve it than, than not. So uh, appreciate Hasbro doing that. So I'm going to put this uh, retro Obi-Wan here. Um, so the question is, do these... Do these go with your vintage collection? I think sometimes these figures come real close and do a good job, and I think sometimes they're a little bit off. But I don't know how they could improve things. And I also think it's a bit difficult being in this time and trying to think about how these vintage-style figures looked and were, you know, the impression that you had of them as a kid back in the 80s. So I like this stuff. And if you like collecting Star Wars and just for whatever reason, you're just not into the more detailed looking stuff, um, these are a great, great way to collect. If you have real vintage figures, I would say collect these because they are... They're a continuation, whether whether you like it or not. They're a continuation. They're, I I just wish they were marketed and packaged. I just wish they were marketed and had packaging to better blend with the true vintage figures. That's my only gripe about it. But otherwise, I I think these are good. And um, you know, if you're a modest collector or you know you, you you like collecting some things and you just want some to have some stuff on the on your desk to mess with um and maybe you were a kid or young when phantom menace came out i think i think these are nice like these compared to pops i i like these better because you can pose them they you know have more realistic proportions 
Um, they have these removable, removable weapons, so uh, I think these are better from that point of view too. So that's our review. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll be doing some more reviews of the some other retro waves from Ahsoka. So appreciate you watching. Um, I would like to know in the comments what people think about how these figures stack, compare, and blend in with the true vintage Kenner. So let me know. Thanks for watching. Uh, tune in to next time.